blockchain. Well, IOHK is kind of a factory for cryptocurrencies and uh, enter enterprise blockchain technology. So we're both a research company and an engineering company. Phase one, an introduction to Cardano. One of the best alternatives you need to follow. Uh. Proof of stake algorithm. That's our borrows. What it's up guys, Nakamoto Crypto here. Next month, February, will be huge for Cardano. As Charles Hoskinson just announced, a merry hard fork is in the making and this will integrate the native assets functionality stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to 500 subscribers iohk is adding consultants to enhance cardano's voting mechanism and governance model the ceo charles huskinson is highly optimistic about the platform's progress in 2021 with the end of the pandemic and the possible end of the lockdown measures across the globe, Charles Hoskinson hinted at many deals and partnership in the makings as well as decentralized applications that will be built on the Cardano ecosystem. In an update from his YouTube channel, Hoskinson talked about the decline in Cardano's decentralization metrics. D will be worth zero in March as he stated. Thus, the decentralization roadmap is on schedule while Cardano will soon be able to celebrate that the block production is entirely in the hands of the community. By stating that Shelley's hybrid stage will be over, we have now basically finished that stage on the project. And then Charles Hoskinson announced the development of Mary for February of 2021. And it will be Carano's second Gorgon related hard fork after the Allegra hard fork combinator. This update added multiple token functions while Mary will allow the creation of native assets on the Carano ecosystem and will add the infrastructure for the extended UTXO model. Cardano's new capabilities have been designed to make the platform an interoperable network for building decentralized finance protocols such as DeFi. The components that will allow this to be achieved are part of Cardano's Gorgon era. In this sense, Huskinson celebrated the progress made by the team building the Plutus platform. Smart contracts that are created on Cardano will be hosted on this platform and will be used by users in conjunction with the hybrid wallet, partial delegations and other tools. Hoskinson stated that we are working on our go-to market strategy for the first half of this year for smart contracts and there are a lot of cool things coming out on the way. A lot of business deals, people want to come to Cardano, they are begging us, this is just the beginning. As for the progress of Cardano's governance, a week ago, Cardano's Fund 2 of the project Catalyst was closed. Charles Hoskinson says that the payment will be released shortly for the approved project and Fund 3 with an estimated value of $500,000 opened on January the 7th to encourage the innovation and the decentralization on the platform. Commenting on this, Haskinson also states that similar funds will be issued more frequently in the future, as he also added that the voting experience will enhance and improve the group of people we work with for Project Catalyst. We are bringing in governance consultants. We will have one of the best governance system for any cryptocurrency. On the same token, Goldman Sachs economist says that Bitcoin is a maturing market right now by detailing just how much institutional money has entered the crypto market as of recent. In a new interview with CNBC, Goldman Sachs head of commodities research Jeff Curry says that he's seeing signs of maturity in the Bitcoin market and this is due to increasing allocations from institutional investors and that will be the key to reducing BTC's volatility in the long run. Jeff Curry states that I think the market is beginning to mature more and more and I think that in any nascent market you get that volatility and those kinds of risk that are associated with it. I think that the key to creating some type of stability in this market is to see an increase in the participation of institutional investors. Right now they are too small. 
as the entire Bitcoin market cap is about $700 billion and only 1% of that is from institutional investors. So a number of high risk profile investors including Stanley Druckenmiller, Paul Tudor Jones have all recently invested into Bitcoin. The institutional crypto asset manager Grayscale says that pension funds and endowments are beginning to enter the crypto space. Traditional asset management firms like Fidelity, Skybridge and Ruffer are all buying BTC on behalf of their clients and Guggenheim Partners has also informed the SEC that it is looking to invest up to $530 million into Bitcoin. In addition to that, the payment firm Square and business intelligence firm MicroStrategy and insurance giant Mass Mutual have all allocated their funds already into BTC. As for how to access the true value of the nascent cryptocurrency, Mr. Curry states that a direct comparison between Bitcoin's market cap and gold's market cap to be used as a defensive asset is apt by stating that if you treat it like a defensive asset, let's say for example gold, and we look at the size of defensive assets like the gold market, there is two trillion or three trillion dollars in those kinds of markets. Now we start to ask ourselves, how much of this defensive money could be allocated to something like Bitcoin? Right now, the entire cryptocurrency market cap is one trillion dollars let's say it grows to two trillion dollars then you just do the simple math how many coins are out there divided by that you can end up with a fair value the question is what can give you some long-run equilibrium but the flows that you are referring to to create a lot of volatility and a lot of uncertainty makes it very difficult to forecast it bitcoin's price is rallying back up by going as high as $37,900 as of recently. This is a clear signal that the bulls are coming back and they are set to reclaim the $40,000 mark as Bitcoin has now broken the $35,000 resistance level. What are your thoughts on the recent demand for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? Let us know in the comment section below. Like the video, share, subscribe for some daily crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and um out it's a decentralized public blockchain it's an open source project that maintains a scientific philosophy for your gains a systematic economy with no pain yeah. a platform of visionaries and creators Talk. a program of scientists and innovators uh. a brand new manifesto for change makers uh. cardano's the future check the white paper hey.